Hey, and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys drink what y'all pick. So please feel free to email me at bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com, and I'll try and get your bottle on the show. Guess what? We are back to our regularly tuned programming. I cannot begin. I mean, we still have some mic work to do and a couple other things, but I can get your bottles on the show. I know where they are. This is awesome. So tonight's bottle, I was actually shocked to find out we haven't done this one. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's brought to you by Genoi Crevespa. I'm sure I just butchered your last name. I am so sorry. Um, but we are doing a Knob Creek single barrel tonight. If you like what you see, go ahead, hit that like subscribe button. If you love us, go ahead and head on over to Patreon, see all the goodies that are there. Also, um, if you were looking for a really great Facebook group that has just bourbon, no drama, head on over to Bourbon Blind Nation. I think that covers everything I need to say. I'm gonna go get the guys and we're gonna see what they think of Knob Creek. And I, oh, I do have a, oh wait, we tried some really awful stuff earlier. Um, while we were getting stuff set up. I hope it doesn't taste bad because I love this bottle. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't have a bag. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. And I'm Mick. You know what's up. We got Mick back with us. Good to have you back, sir. Good to be back. Um, so, Aaron poured us something. Aaron Sorry. poured us a little something something. And uh, mm, I'm liking it on the nose so far. You got a good nose. Yeah. Some color on it. Yeah, great, great color on it. Yeah, oh, like that is a good nose. Amber. It actually kind of reminds me of the uh, the amber from Jurassic Park that ah, the, the mosquito the, was the mosquito, mosquito was stuck in. in. Yeah, yeah. That's what it reminds me of in this light. Just checks if we got any mosquitoes in there. Right. <laughs> I get a few of those around yeah, the house when I'm outside. Yeah. Protein. Yeah. Baking spices, caramel. Like a almost like a red apple. Definitely. It's got a good amount of baking spice in there. Oh yeah. Hmm. I like that. I want to say a little bit of oak in there. Way down. Bit Way of down. Way down. <laughs> yeah. In the bottom of it? There it is. But I like it. I'm liking the nose on a lot. Yeah. Anyway. Cheers. Let's see what it's made of. Cheers, y'all. A bit of spice on it. Yeah. And a little pepper. Almost like a black pepper and white pepper. Mm. Like you said, baking spices, a little bit of sweetness in there, like a little bit of a caramel vanilla custardy kind of in there on the back end. It's very good. It's delicious. Yeah. Mm. That second, second sip, bit in the first. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Big. That is big caramel. Just much, I would say much more sweetness. Oh, much more. Much more sweetness on the on the palate on the second sip. Which is why, you know, never judge a book by its cover. That's right. Never judge a whiskey by its first taste. The finish kind of wanes off a little bit, but right up front in the palate, big kick of caramel, vanilla. Mm-hmm. Actually, do get a little oak on the end, in the finish. Just a little dabble, do you? I'm sure I want to put water in it. It's actually very good. That's really good. Just like this, but okay, for science and experimentation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Way more sweetness. Going in for a second sip, because that was. Now that flavor is hanging around. It really is. Mm. I can still taste the sip before the one I just took. But this is... Oh, I like that. There's something in there that's very different than anything 
that was in there before. Now the finish has got very spicy with a few drops of water in there. Sweet up front, and there's mm -hmm. a lot feels like there's a lot more spice in it. Very custardy up front. Almost like a vanilla custard. Yeah. And then burnt sugar. Mm -hmm. Brown sugar, burnt sugar, molasses, caramel, all those like really deep, deep dark sugary. Mm. I I, I really like that finish one. on it. I really like that. If it's going to finish on it, it's just very very light. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of the sweetness you'd get from a um, nineteen ten or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. it's just got a lot more sugar and sweetness. But I just uh, I really can't pick out that it is finished. The finish before the water just lasted. Yes, all all day long, just hung around. With the water, it kind of tapered off. But man, those flavors were good. Yep. All right. The unadulterated version. Way more baking spice. I think I like that better with water. <laughs> I really I do. I didn't argue with that. It, it I, is. I'm going to go back in. Just That was a lot. It just got more rounded. Usually they die off with a bit of water in there. Yeah. But this one's not. It's actually it just up. kind of like bloomed and just way more complex. You know, without the water, it was very baking spice and a little bit of sweetness. With the water, though, it just really opened up, man. That's pretty thick, too. I'm not getting a lot of proof on it, but a lot of. I got a decent flavor. amount on the. Without the water, mm -hmm. I'd say it tastes like it's in the 115, 120 range. Like it's got a lot of a lot of flavor, but not a whole lot of that alcohol yep. burn. Yep. I'm thinking maybe right around 110 is what I'm picking up on it. <sighs> mm. Mm. It's very good nose. With the water, that's super creamy. I'm getting more oak on it. So a second, I might have just get a little too much water in there. Without or yeah, without the water, I'd say I'm in that sixty to seventy dollar area. With the water, I'd be in that like seventy to ninety dollar area. I, I'm really digging it. Wow, I see what you mean about getting creamier. Yeah, with the water just, in there. <laughs> Which doesn't make sense. A lot of bourbons do that. They get creamier with the water, and to me, that makes no sense. It should. Does that indicate maybe unchilled, unfilled? I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. Possible. It's really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm 60, 70 bucks all day. Mm hmm. Easy. The finish is, I can still taste it too. It's not nearly as robust as it was without the water, the finish, but it's still there. It's hanging out. All right. I think it's great. That's a good bottle. Let's see what it is. I think I have an idea. Maybe not. It almost feels like an Elijah Craig bottle. Nope. Knob Creek. I would not have guessed that. Single barrel. Aged at least nine years, and oh, this is a store pick. Ah, uh, this is from Red Wine and Spirits, and it is 120 proof. Wow, we were really close. I was thinking around 110. It's it drinks below the proof for sure, and the water didn't hurt it. No, not a not at all. That that got really good with the water. Yeah, I mean that. I didn't pick up the the Jim Beam, the Knob Creek type nuttiness. No, it just very not at all. sweet, very smooth. I didn't get nuts. Mm. I didn't get any nutty on it. You get no nuts on that one. Mm -mm. It's got some That's balls, really but no nuts. It's got the balls. It just <laughs> doesn't have the nuts. Wow. That is great. All balls, no nuts. Now, what was that? Nine year? At least nine year. Um, this one from Red. I like it. I want to say it was... I want to say it was around a 12 year barrel. What did he pick that up? $40, $50? Yeah, 45 bucks. I mean... Guys, right now, these are one of the best buys in bourbon, hands down. The store picks, 
Yeah. Barrel picks, fantastic. And I mean, even at a minimum of nine years, you're still talking about a nine year, 120 proof bourbon for 45 bucks. That's that's you, a no brainer in my book. <laughs> if you look around, you'll find some 14, 15 year ones too. Oh Small yeah. Picks. Yep. Um, there's definitely some over there that are in that, that 14, 15 year range. And halfway rhetorical question here. What is the difference between this at 15 years and Pappy at 15 years? The label. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it is. The hype of the label. It is. And this is at 120 proof. Yes. But I know, but it's Pappy. The Pappies. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's... Yeah. I, I still stand. This is one of the best buys in bourbon right yep. now. So if you don't have a Knob Creek store pick... Uh, look around. They're quite quite common. They're uh, not really hard to find. Grab one and try it. And see what you think. And worst case scenario, if they're not in your area, grab one off the shelf. Yeah. Grab a regular single barrel uh, Jim Beam Knob Creek. Yep. Um, like I said, they are out of Jim Beam, uh, the Beam Family Distillery. Uh, and they are owned by who's Beam Centauri. Centauri, that's right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I believe it's more of a partnership than... One owning the other, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah, either way, that's, yeah, Knob Creek all day long. They always seem to do really well in blinds, too. Yeah. And if you're sitting at home, you can experiment. Put some water in it. Um, it's always interesting. I know, you know, like I say, I'm like, oh, I'm going to put water in this. It's not <laughs> something I do a lot of, but this is a good example. We're putting a bit of water in it. it actually made it more creamier, more oh, thicker. Yeah. It, it didn't hurt it at all. It actually uh, accentuated it. So um, Four Roses gonna... is one that usually a couple drops of water really opens up. Mm. Uh, and you'll find some that don't do well with water. So. Yep. But it's all about experimentation and... Uh, that's speaking, fun of of, speaking of experimentation, one of our local uh, liquor store owners, um, he's a great guy. And uh, he said, I think it was a 60-40 mix of George T. Stagg and Pappy 15 year. <laughs> he said it was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about experimenting, guys. <laughs> I'd like to see that label. <laughs> get your get your freak on, man. <laughs> well, I do know that a lot of people are into the nineteen fifteen, where they've taken the nineteen ten and the mm-hmm. nineteen twenty, blended it, and made labels and all sorts of stuff. Yep. So yeah, so have fun, experiment a little bit. I think uh, Pete in the Nation was the first one I saw. Is that to do Pete? that? Wow, so, could have yeah. been Pete. Pete's an awesome guy. Yeah. Appreciate you, Pete. Thank you, Pete. Um, You're looking out for us, right? Yeah. So anyway, guys, yeah. Knob Creek, single barrel, absolutely 100% buy all day long. Absolutely. So thumbs up for that one. Two thumbs. Two thumbs. So guys, um, Mick, appreciate you coming out, sir. Good to see you again. Absolutely. And uh, you guys, until Friday noon central next week, cheers. Drink blind. Blind it is. We want to give a huge shout out to all of our Patreon people. Absolutely thank you. You guys are freaking magical. T-shirts at Teespring, link in the description. Also, thank you to anyone who has ever supported us, whether that's either coming on a live, chit-chatting with us on a Thursday night, or if you just like to watch our episodes, we appreciate every one of you. Until Friday noon central next week, cheers.